G'day, Aji Baji crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. All right, uh, we're going to take a look at Snowy Moon, the controversial program, or at least it was in the past. I don't know if it still is, but we'll get to that later. But before we do, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free and it really does help me out so I can continue to bring uh, free videos to you uh, on different games and whatnot, especially ATS and ATS2. Also, if you're interested in joining a VTC, virtual tracking company, there'll be links down in the description. And if you want to pop over to our Discord, there's an invite down there as well. And there's links to all the gear and some of the mods that I use in the description as well. Any questions, don't be afraid to ask. All right, so yes, here we are. Um, we're in ATS. And just to show you what the graphics are like, let's do a little bit of a, a fly around. Although it's probably uh, better, it, we should have been in a city or something like that. But you can see on here exactly how good the graphics are, how clear, how shiny the chrome is, how precise everything is. No shimmering, no flickering, no stuttering. So you get the idea, the graphics are fantastic. And a lot of people have been asking me what graphics um, I, or what graphics mods, etc., I use. And the, the basic answer is I used to use PNG and Snowy Moon together, but I found another mod which is called Ultimate Graphics and I use that. Uh, and I'll leave a link to that down in the description as well. But this isn't about Ultimate Graphics. This is about um, Snowy Moon. I stopped using uh, PNG, Project Next Gen, uh, because it was giving me problems with some of my map uh, combos and whatnot, and it was crashing the game. Um, and it was definitely PNG that was doing it uh, because I removed it. And um, even when I removed it, after I removed it, the game still crashed. So I thought, well, it can't be PNG. So I started a completely new profile um, and tested it without PNG, made sure that everything worked. I tested it with Ultimate Graphics. I tested it without Ultimate Graphics. Everything worked fine. I put PNG in to the same uh, profile, which had all the same mods from the uh, previous one that was crashing. If you understand what I mean? And as soon as I put PNG in, it started to crash again. So I took it back out, and even when I took it back out, it kept crashing. So it does something to um, some of the coding. Don't know what it is. Hopefully he'll fix it, uh, because I did pay for it and paid quite a lot of money for it. But unfortunately, um, I can't use it on some of my map mods. Uh, or map combos, so I don't use it anymore. I use Ultimate Graphics, and to me, Ultimate Graphics is very good. I don't know if it's as good as PNG, um, because I can't really test it against PNG at the moment because it crashes my game. Uh, but from what I remember of PNG, this is equally as good, if not better. And I hate saying that because I'm going to get flamed for it because it's a paid mod and everybody fanboy of it. But um, I'm only giving you my honest opinion not necessarily uh, your opinion but my opinion is that the ultimate graphics is better along with snowy moon so sorry i got carried away there snowy moon what you're here for is to find out how to install it and uh, what it does here i am and what i'll do now is we'll go and i'll bring it up this is a snowy moon 10.2.31 and that's the one i use uh, the main reason i got this was to use it for the brightness scaling because you couldn't uh, operate brightness in ATS and ETS prior to this because uh, the slider didn't work. It, they fixed it and now it works. So I, I don't use brightness on Snowy Moon anymore. I only use the DLLA, DLAA setting. But let's uh, switch that off so you can see the difference. Now if we back out of there so I can spin around and show you. If we have a look around You'll see shimmering on the trees, though it's not really showing it good here, but let's get up a bit closer. See how the trees are shimmering and you've got uh, shimmering on some of the uh, poles. The poles aren't exactly straight, they're a bit jaggedy. Um, yeah, yeah, you can see the shimmering in the trees here. And it's, yeah, it doesn't look right. It looks, it looks over sharp when it's not on see the lines on the roads are all 
jaggedy and whatnot. So if I turn it back on again, just to show you what it looks like. Where it DLA? You can see it just clears up and gets rid of the shimmering. Oops, wrong button. And you can see the lines on the road are nice and straight. If you have a look at the trees, they're not shimmering anymore. They look natural. They're swaying in the breeze even as we speak. So you can see it just looks a lot better. I hope that showed it to you. Again, I'll, I'll let's move over a bit here so you get trees as well. We'll turn it off so you can see what it looks like with it off. Yes, just check the lines on the road in the distance there. They're all jaggedy. The telegraph pole, uh, the wires on the telegraph poles, they're all jaggedy. The trees are now shimmering. So we'll turn it back on. So you can see. And that should clear it up for you to, uh, so you can see how good it is. Now, I was going to get rid of it because, I, I like I say, I was only using it for uh, the brightness scaling. But now, as you can see, I'm keeping it because it does make everything look just that much better. So, with all that said, now that you've got a comparison and you can judge for yourself, we'll hop out of here and I'll show you uh, how to download and install it. So, you go to snowymoon.io and this is where you can uh, get the, the plugin. And it is a plugin, it's not an actual mod. So it doesn't go in your mod folder. What you want is the top one for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Click on that and you will see uh, um, the different versions of his lighting improvements and temporal anti-aliasing. We're just using the temp temporal anti-aliasing. Now you've got the ver older versions. Uh, you've got lighting improvements version 1, which is 1.53 only. You've got the paid version of the lighting improvements version 2. Uh, all you've got to do is become a member of his Patreon, it's quite cheap, uh, and away you go. But we're using this one here, this is one I use, is the Temporal Anti-Aliasing version 10. Alright, so when you get in here, this is the one you're looking for. Again, I'll leave a link in the description so you can get to it. Now, it gives you all the features here that are in the uh, package. Now, the requirements, which is DirectX 11 or 10. Uh, the games it supports and VR is supported and multi monitor now, according to him, multi monitor is uh, supported now. It didn't used to be, but I've only just realized that he's now got it that it is. So I'll be testing that out later on maybe doubles or triples and see if it does actually work because a lot of the guys in the VTC are interested in if it will work on their multi monitors. So we'll find out. Uh, what is not supported is HDR and NVIDIA Smooth Motion, not a big concern for me. But then it tells you here how to install it, which I'll show you. We'll run through it though, and then I'll show you how to do it. So you go to your ETS, ATS folder, whichever one you're going to do it in. And by the way, you can do it in both. Then you go to bin win64 folder, you copy and paste the DXGI DLL file, the input 8 DLL file, and the NVNGX DLS DLL file into the um, the bin the win64 folder. And you start the game in DirectX 11 and you use Control P or N to open it in game and that will open it up. Now he talks about using reshade. I don't use reshade, so I can't help you there. We're just looking at the uh, TAA uh, one that he uses, the anti-aliasing version 10. Now this is the latest version that um, we're using or I'm using. You can get, revert back to older ones if you find that they work better for you, but I'm using the latest version. And again, I'm going to test it out on multi-monitor, then that'll be a video coming up in the future. Okay, so I've already downloaded them, and so we'll go here. And when you've downloaded them, they'll come up in zip files like this. And I always scan uh, any files that I download off the internet to make sure that everything is safe. So you just click scan with Windows Defender, and you'll see there's no threats in that one. And you can do the same with the next one. Scan with Microsoft Defender, and you can see there's no problems at all. So when you're uh, opening these to extract them, 
Just use, open them in any of whichever extraction program you use. I use Wins uh, 7-Zip. So all I do is double click on it and it opens up. And what we're looking for is this file here. We want to extract it and put it into the uh, Win64 folder. Now, the Win in case you want to know where that is, uh, where are we? I shall take you back and show you. So what you're looking for is your Steam library, not your Documents American Track, because that's where your mod folder is. You want your Steam library where the game itself is. All right, so you go to Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then American Truck Simulator, bin, Win64, and that's where you place it. You don't put it in your plugins, you just place it straight in the Win64 folder. All right, so that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to extract that to the uh, American Truck Simulator bin Win64 folder. Say OK. Now it will show that it's already in there because I've already done this. I'm going to copy over the top of it anyway just to be on the safe side. The other thing is make sure your game is shut down when you do this because you won't be able to do it and it won't register properly if you don't. All right, so your game has to be shut down when you're doing it. Uh, then we'll go over here to this one here, which has the other two folders in it, and uh, two files in it, I beg your pardon. And you just highlight both of them. You can highlight it in different ways. You can drag and highlight. Oops, that didn't work. Like so, and highlight them. That's by just left clicking, dragging across them, and letting go. And that highlights them. Or you can click on the first one, then press shift and highlight, and that will highlight both of them. That's another way to do it. All right. Then you click extract so you're getting both of them, and make sure that they're in the same file folder, which is American Truck Simulator bin Win64. And then click OK again. It'll say that it's already in there, so I say yes to all. And now I've copied over the top of them. And that's how you install them. So now to check and make sure they're in there, which they will be, and uh, we'll go back to where they are, which is in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, because we're only doing that now, but it works in both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. You can see there's one file there. Uh, what was the other? There's the other file and one more, which is the end. Where is it? This one here. So they're all in there now. And to double check that everything's working, we can go back to the game. And you don't even have to actually go into the game. As long as you're in the title screen, you can now press end. Okay. Or control P. Open it up. And then you can play with the settings. Now, there are quite a different, uh, or quite a few different settings here that you can muck around with. I suggest that you just start with DLA A and set it at three see what it's like i don't have uh, motion blur on i disable that and the reason i've done that is because i've tested to see if it affects performance it does so i've turned that off and i don't need it um, you can choose a simple color preset or you can disable it's up to you and you can play with lighting here if you uh, like brightness if you want but again by changing different settings you'll get different things that you can change in the settings all right, but I use DLAA because I find that that is the best setting for me. I have FXAA enabled. Again, I find that that is the best setting for me. I have motion blur disabled. I use the simple color preset. I've turned brightness to zero because I now use the in-game brightness because it finally works in-game after years and years of waiting. Uh, and yeah, that's it, but again, by Playing with the settings yourself, judge for yourself, set it up that whichever way best suits you in the game. And that way you'll get the best settings for you. Check your performance, make sure it's not doing too much on your performance, whichever settings you use, and then you'll come across whichever one is the best between, or best balance between uh, performance and quality. So let's get out of there. All right, so that that's basically how you do it. And hopefully that, that uh, 
was uh, explained well enough so you can understand how to do it. The other thing is, like I said, way back when Snowy Moon uh, was very controversial for some reason, I can't remember exactly what it was, but everybody was complaining because he started charging for one of his programs. In fact, I think it was this one. And I just got blown away because he was putting all this work and effort in. And the first thing they do is start complaining because he, he, he started charging for it. And they, they also said something about um, he was hacking and, and, and that's all been disproven. All right, so if you're worried about anything like that, by all means, don't use it. But I can tell you that that's not true. It was just some disgruntled people that didn't want to pay for his um, Patreon at the time. He since gave it away for free, but he is now charging for this new one that he's brought out. And uh, I haven't tested it out, the new one, which I will do, though, and I will pay for it, and I will check it out, and I will do a future video and let you know what my thoughts are on that one. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. Let me know what I did wrong. Uh, also, if you know of anyone that might benefit by looking at this, please share it with them. And hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.